So, President Ricks, what's happening this morning? <laughs> we just had a hard time sleeping, so we came out here and see if we could get some TV publicity of our pageant. Nice, and they just happened to be here. Yeah. that are now underway will allow you to do just that. Stay tuned, I'll have all the details on the event after the break. Good morning. Right now we're standing on the stage of where the pageants happen, and you know I say the word pageant, but it's not actually a beauty pageant. I am joined today by uh, John Ricks, who is the president of the pageants. What exactly happens on this stage? 152. 175 people here on stage doing the performing. The pageant lasts about an hour and 15 minutes. And out here we'll have about 3,000 people, 2,500 to 3,000 every night for 20 performances. So it's more of a play than it is a pageant, I guess you would say, and the, the costumes are, are ridiculously 1840s. What would you say to people as to why they should come experience this if they haven't before? We, uh, we have 20 actors on live mic along with them for the rest of the Sounds like a great blast to the past. Thank you, John, for joining us this morning. Thanks. As you mentioned, there is the fair that goes on as well and tons of other events along with that fair coming up. We'll talk more about the other events and not just what happens here on the stage. And we're going to show you some of those things. I believe I see a wagon over there that I'm going to try and pull or ride in or something. We're still going to have to figure out how that works. But for now, I send it back to you guys in the studio for your forecast. Let's think Pioneer. We all believe in you. Just think Step up. I'm gonna lift you now. Okay, you see, it, it's Do really it. not as scary as it seems. Chad, I took your advice and I decided to get in the wagon instead of pull it. We're gonna show you how you can literally take a step back into the 1840s with wagon rides. We're gonna cut some wood. We're gonna do it all. I'll show you what you can do when you come as well after the break. Whichever. I couldn't remember which one was that. <laughs> and you can play too. You just have to just keep your composure. That's, that's Give me your line so I'll do the same. Uh, back in the 1840s, one of the games the girls would play in their dresses was graces. Something you can also play if you, if you uh, come to the Nauvoo and British pageant and take a step back into the 1840s. That's what you need to do. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. I did. I recorded one of them. <laughs> okay. Two minutes. One more time. Something you can play, along with many other games at the Nauvoo and British pageant, that will take you back to the 1840s. Okay. Uh, so I'll say a game. Uh, back that to girls could do in their dresses. That the girls would play in their dresses is graces. This is something you can play if you come to the Nauvoo and British pageants. That'll take you back to the 1840s. Details coming up. Back in the 1840s, one of the games that the girls would play in their dresses is called Graces. This is a game that you can play if you come to the British and Nauvoo pageants, and it'll take you back to the 1840s, so stay tuned. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even no, say, like, she, why they she just wrapped right? it on the, uh, on the lens of the camera. <laughs> that was incredible! <laughs> Practice makes perfect. Woo! You got it, girl. Good! <laughs> I didn't say, like, why they just did you. I wasn't, like, details on the event coming up. Oh, well. I was like, it's a game you can play. Good morning. If you come to Nauvoo for the Nauvoo and British pageants, you're going to experience a reenactment of what happened back in the 1840s here in Nauvoo. There's also going to be tons of games and activities for you to take part in that will also take you back to the I am joined today by Greg Davies, who is with the pageant. What are some of the things that people can do when they come out here? There are so many fun activities. So we have about 20 different activities from the 1840s. This is one here called the Worship Day. Everybody can come here and get one of those and take that home with them. It's like a button spinner. But there's also stick pole, stick ball. They have concession stands. You can have dinner here. Stilts. You can learn a round dance. And you can also cut a log. You can get a brand, a Nauvoo brand, like you said there, and take that home with you. 
there's so many different activities that you can do here, and it's all free. And when is this happening? When can people come out and enjoy this? So right before the pageant, from 7 to 8.30, you can just wander the fair and do the 1840s activities. And then at 8.30, the bagpipe parade starts, and they bring a child parade here. They all come walking to the stand here, and then they all take their seats and watch the pageant. And this is completely free Tuesday through Saturday till when? Well, it's from July 10th to August 4th, Tuesday through Saturday. But Monday night, there's also a dress rehearsal with a lot of people. Wonderful. Sounds like there's many opportunities for people to come. He mentioned you can take one of these home with you for free. It's a piece of wood that you actually cut yourself, and you can get it branded. We're going to try and do that here. Uh, let's see how easy this is. This is lots of people lying. I think you'd find this history very interesting. It's not it's not just for members of our faith, it's for members of all faith. And we have we have many people come and just to enjoy the time here. We have games out here in the country fair. It starts at seven o'clock and this all this goes on through August fourth. And everything's free. Everything's free except for a few concessions that you might want to enjoy. What why should people learn about the history and the past of the town? Well, it's kind of the history of the West back years ago when, when the West was being settled. And uh, it's very interesting. They, it's interesting the people here built brick homes. They, uh, they built those homes to settle here and, uh, and ended up taking a trek further west uh, as, after they'd been here about five years. We just invite everyone to come. We hope you have a great time. We hope you come and enjoy it with your families. It's a great family event. Each of the family casts come with five rotating casts. They all serve for two weeks. They pay their own way. 1,100 volunteers also come. And what they do is they do costuming, security, family support. There are so many uh, activities from 7 o'clock to 8.30 to tell the story of how these thousands of people left their homes in England and the British Isles, other places there, came here and were able to build a city out of a swamp. We're standing on dry ground, but when they got here, this was a swamp. They had hard bedrock shale underneath it, and the water did not leave, so they built a series of irrigation canals, drained the swamp, and literally built Zion on a swamp, is what they called it. They called it Zion, or a place to, of refuge for them to come. And what would you say to our viewers as to why they should come experience it? If you would ever wonder what it was like to be in the 1840s, Nauvoo is the place. I don't know of any other place in the area that has that many homes that have been reconstructed from what they were, some of them were in pretty bad shape or just the foundation, but they reconstructed it. I just wanted to say something about uh, Quincy. Uh, we have a great love for the people of Quincy. Many of our ancestors, uh, after uh, being forced to leave their homes in other areas, came across the river, and the people, uh, the good people of Quincy, with good Christian charity, opened up their homes. Had They, they laughed because uh, some of the journal entries said you couldn't swing a cat without hitting a Mormon. They literally had people laying in their homes, in their barns, in their areas. They actually saved the membership of the church at that point that were ready to die, many of them. And the good people of Quincy um, opened up their homes and their yards and their barns, everything, to, and and basically rescued and saved thousands and thousands of men, women, and children at that time. Then they moved north, 40 miles north, built this city from a swamp. And so I just think that as we remember the sacrifices that they made, that we can remember that we should really be nicer to each other. That no matter what, that we are all brothers and sisters, and if we can remember that, that one thing alone, I think that the world would be a better place.